Pay, pay the price. Pay the price. All right, so I'm only going to do a couple things just to make it so that the finale isn't a billion things. Um, Yay! So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, beat this dumb boss, and then I'll then we'll do that dumb platform part. Question of the part. Qu question of the part. Who's here? Yeah, so Ben's here. Ben! Ben! Trevor's here. Trevor! Parker's here. Parker! Hmm. So, question of the part. What's your uh, thoughts on 10-hour-old Burger King? I just got this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking... I had to get some for Ash, so I guess... I hey, here's my question of the part. What is the... I don't even... I've never seen this boss with all the Ferris playthroughs. It's That's because we probably never got that far on Soup. Anyway, question of the part. What is the top tier fry from a fast food joint? Oh, this is such a, it's such a tired question. It's been answered a million times It's before. obviously Arby's. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so I will say, because Burger King is the, is the closest thing to the store, I don't like Burger King. I got it just because I was very hungry. What about base pizza? And Burger King is, yeah, I hate, I hate pizza <laughs> so much. I, they have waffle fries. I literally, yeah. I literally I cannot. I think, I think so. When Ash is like, get, let's get Pizza Hut, I'm like, you can have Pizza Hut. I literally just don't even eat it. Anyway, so uh, Burger King's fries are clearly not, not great. But here's the real question. Would you rather eat Little Caesars or Pizza Hut? I love Little Caesars. I love Little Caesars. This is we, we probably get it, like, twice a month, just because, like, there's a day where you're like, I am not cooking for these god dang kids. I mean, it's convenient. You can just go in and be like, give me a pizza, but then you're like, I wonder how many hours it says good They also, pizza. they also have, rip. what do they have? They have, they just started this again, pretzel crust, where the sauce instead of sauce is cheese. It's like a nacho cheese. <laughs> With cheese on top. <laughs> That's out of control. I love it. <laughs> so it's just, it's like a pretzel that looks like a pizza with nacho cheese. Does it Pretty have anything much. else? But then it has cheese. regular or pepperoni. cheese on it. And pepperoni. Wait, or whatever nacho else cheese on and regular <laughs> cheese? I love it. That sounds gross. Mm. <laughs> Trevor, come on. Those Parker, does that sound gross or not? Yes, that sounds gross. <laughs> I love it. I'll bring one next time, boys. The thing is, like, the thing that bothers me about all this is that they shouldn't call it pizza. Just call it like. I'm fine with that. Just call it like circle food or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like. Hey, you want to get circle food? <laughs> because like, it just it just is like no, it's not pizza. No one can argue that that's pizza. So for you people who are listening on YouTube, Parker is from Jersey. So every opinion he has is gonna be hey, pizza. The yeah. Giants. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's what it sounds like usually. Usually. Not not doing LPs, you tone it down a little. Yeah. I will say, like, Jersey and New York pizza is the goat. Although, Parker and I have had official Chicago from Chicago deep dish, deep pizza. dish. And it's also very good, okay, although it's not pizza. 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 It's not pizza. I mean, it, it's like a pizza, pizza pie. But yeah, it's like, it's like a, a whole meal in a slice. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not really... It's like, a, it's like a... Um, it's like a cheesecake, almost. Like, it's like that, like, filling. It's I bet ridiculous. there's some people from Chicago that argue that New York-style pizza isn't pizza either. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, like, to me, like, pizza pie is, like, not pizza. Yeah. Because their thing is that, like, oh, a slice of pizza, that's not a meal. You know what I mean? Like, that's their... It like, doesn't have a thousand million calories <laughs> of their cheese. You should not want to, like, walk after... <laughs> I mean, every area of the country has their own, like, big fatty foods that they're like, this is it. Like, when we were in, like, Wisconsin, we stopped at a place. It was Wisconsin, right? And it was like, everything they had was like, hey, you want to add extra meat to that, huh? Yeah. Didn't we get, like... Also, cheese curds is, like, a thing. Yeah. Like, Wisconsin, it's like, like, everything is, like, everybody's gonna have something, I guess. Yeah. Although, it was very good. I think we yeah. got, like, a meat, like, oh, yeah, a meat crazy. sampling, and it was like... Wait, what seven meats do you want? Are those are those? Oh, yeah, yeah. If but it's those a, ghosts are they just like dead? They're ghosts rats? of dead rats. Yeah, the rats that came before this one. He learned from killing all those fellow rats. Huh. 
All right. Uh, so what, we'll do the platformer, and then we'll do one more boss, and then we'll call it a part because. Uh, I know it's a very generic answer to my question of the part, but McDonald's, dude. Their fries, forget it. Wendy's. <laughs> the Wendy's problem, is also very good. The problem with McDonald's fries, at least whenever I go, and it's probably the last five times in a row, it's like you get fries and you're like, these fries are probably going to be good, and then you like pick them up and they're lukewarm. And then McDonald's fries, if they're not like hot, are super gross. Yes, and that I can definitely agree. That is that is the problem with fries. You just you really do have to get them right as they uh. But like I always go in. get McDonald's fries when they're like cold, and it's just like come on, just get a hotter heat lamp, please. <clears throat> so uh, for us local people, you know, local to Lancaster or Ephrata, our best local joint of fries is is the simplest you can get. It's Beringers. Which is like a like a old school style, like almost like a drive-in kind of thing, except for it's not a drive-in. Their fries are out of sight and they're so simple, and they're so awesome. That's my choice for like local joint. I've been favorite to very near fries at a fast food place is Shake Shack. Do we have that around here? Uh, you've been to. I've brought you to one once uh, when we were coming back from the airport or something. Oh yeah, that was so good. Um, it's just they're just like. Um, Ridged or whatever, you know, like that kind of cut, but they're just like really like potatoey, but then also very crunchy. But I like those. I, I generally do prefer the thin, but I will say those were very good. And let's also say this let's get this out of the way. Waffle fries, good. Curly fries, good. Normal, normal like size fries, good. Steak fries, get out of here. What? Yeah, it, it depends. I love steak, steak they're, they're fries. They're so potatoey. It's just like, oh, oh man, that's the best. They're, like ne they're, they're never, good. they're never. Uh, don't forget the, uh, yeah, the, the coin. Yeah, um, they're never. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. No, I appreciate it because <laughs> I would forget. They're, they're never. Um, so I think what you call it, like crispy enough. So I think my favorite fries are actually fries that are no longer made. I remember back in like the '90s, or early 2000s, when Burger King had fries that had like a lot of like. It was like a... It had a lot of pepper in it. I remember that. And they were so good, and now they don't make them anymore. Rip. I don't remember those. And it might be because I'm a kid, and it might be, like, better than what they actually yeah, were. Yeah, exactly. There's no. always that thing where you're like, oh, man, that was so good. Everything from the 90s is better. Forever. Like, I remember, like, going with my grandmother to, like, Pizza Hut. I mean, I lived in New Jersey, but, like, we would go to Pizza Hut, and I'd be like, a personal pan pizza is the greatest food ever made. And, like, now I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't feel about that at anything. All my opinions from back then are still good now. Uh, especially music. <laughs> Just go. Especially. Especially music. Ben, what's your favorite carb? Uh, oh, jeez. We were we were here talking carbs this whole time. Ben, what's your favorite uh, type of nut? Uh, that's actually a very interesting Whoa. question. <laughs> uh, so, I think as far as... I'm going to go with the... Um, with the walnut, actually. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, very heavy in protein. <laughs> oh, damn. You're probably so You were close. like, your nose was touching. Uh, there have been studies shown that uh, walnuts in particular actually help with depression as well. Do we, I, do we, I saw do, a Reddit headline. Do, do, you, do you eat a lot of walnuts? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the amount of research that's where I'm that getting one. into. I, I just saw it and I was like, oh, huh, that's cool. And uh, <laughs> then I accepted it purely as fact. I have, so, I so are you depressed and do you eat walnuts? Uh, I don't have any reason to be depressed. <laughs> <laughs> what a question. <laughs> I have an uh, anti-answer to know, that it's question. Always, it's always good to be, just in case. You mean eating walnuts or depressed? Is it just, <laughs> what is happening? Spencer, can you stop? <laughs> Dude, it's, it's not, it's just, oh. it's, it's not just, about anything. It's just that Trevor, I want to say, your question. Ben, I'm always depressed for what it's worth. Before so. we started, I simply asked Ben, how are you doing? 
and I thought that was friendly and nice, and uh, I got crucified. And <laughs> ben started beating me up. <laughs> Parker just it? looked at me with that left I eye. mean, it was like it was like that eye. It was like just 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 ask the question, like <laughs> oh, so uh, how are you feeling? <laughs> Not that you have any reason to feel good or bad. I want to remind you of what actually happened. <laughs> I went up to Ben and gave him a hug. Yes. I that said, how are you today? That's true. This is all true. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you holding up? <laughs> that condescending. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, hey, boss. Hey, champ. Hey, champ. Hey, champ. Oh, my God. Hey, Dude. Champ, champ, you holding up? Okay? Th this is a thing that, that the whole CIB group knows, but my favorite meme is, like, Monday morning, 11.30 a.m., someone comes into the store. And they're like, there's no one in there because it's Monday on, in like January. It's 20 degrees outside. Hey, how how, how you guys doing? You, you guys doing? You, you doing okay? Yeah, man. Uh, if this was like the middle of summer and it was Saturday and it was 11 a.m., I'd be like, oh dang. But it's like, I notice it's 11:30 on a Monday in January and it's 15 degrees outside. And I notice that you're not super busy. Are you okay? <laughs> you guys doing okay? You you doing okay? You guys keeping busy? Yeah. Oh. Nice. It's like you guys keeping busy? Actually, yes, we're we're pretty busy. Yeah. Oh, you tell your right. whatever you need to hey, say. Whatever you, need. whatever you need to I get think, yourself yeah, through that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we're doing we're doing good. And he just looks around. Huh. Huh. Hmm. But then that's that is also a very difficult question to answer because if you're like we're always busy all the time, they're like yeah. oh, well don't have to gloat about it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just like what? I, I think my answer is always like, keep him busy. And it's just like, I'm giving a non-answer to your non-question. All, All right, last boss do. I'll do before we end this part is up here. Never a dull moment. That's another one. You can feel free to use that. Just be sure to credit me. There was a meme that I that I saw once, and I had to. I really thought about it for weeks and weeks as I interacted with people. When, <laughs> when you meets when you like say hi to someone you're like how you doing and they go live in the dream they are like so depressed <laughs> like and now whenever someone's like yeah you know just live in the dream i want to be like live in that do dream you, do you need a hug dude <laughs> sometimes memes are a little too real hey live in the dream man oh okay so the one thing i'm using on this boss that's different is, that i haven't used yet is this um it makes your dash you're invincible while you dash so you basically disappear and reappear, if you notice. That um, seems good, but also disorienting. Yeah, you definitely have to get used to how you move with the parry, for or with the dash, for sure. Um, but if you do, it's, like, super helpful in this part, because you can, like, just go through things, which is, like, invaluable. <laughs> when, especially in this boss, where there's, like, you'll see in this part, there's parts where, like, there's just a lot going on when it all starts piling up. Wait, I just thought about it. Is there a single boss in this game that has a guy with a mustache and a girl tied to a train track? No. I feel like there's a lost opportunity there. Why is it Mickey Mouse in this game? Yeah, they should put Mickey Mouse in the game. And get instantly sued to the Stone Ages. Isn't Mickey Mouse gonna be public domain in, like, five <laughs> no. years or something? No. <laughs> no. No. But, Never gonna happen. Wait, but, like, I know it gets to the point where it's, like, old enough, or but can't you just constantly re-up uh, re the, um... Well, that's a, that's a relatively recent technique. What? Re-upping? That, that the Walt Disney Company what? No. likes to keep doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it... it I don't know. There's a certain point where I don't know that you can re-up anymore, right? Like, I, I feel like there's got to be. What if it's just, like, the super old style Mickey is public domain, but right, not the right. new style? Just Steamboat Willie, but nothing else. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah that, that is an interesting take. I'm sure Disney would do whatever they possibly could. Yeah, they're probably going to every lobby thing. for, like, every law in the world. <laughs> Let's just change how this works, okay? Thanks. Hey, uh, now it's that, affecting that us. Is, can we change this? That is 100% literally exactly what they do. Uh, yeah. there, there's a piece of legislation that uh, is, is kind of affectionately referred to as the Mickey Mouse Law, of which the Walt Disney Company lobbied for in order to extend the copyright for Mickey Mouse so that it w he wouldn't enter the public domain. Wait, is it literally called the Mickey Mouse Law, or it's, is that just like a thing? It's just kind of like a, you know, what Did it, did it pass, or is it the Mickey Mouse, like, proposed law? 
No, it passed. Let me, let me, um, see if I can pull this up because I'm relying on... Once again, something I heard, uh... Just go on Reddit. On a podcast, like... What's the deal with that guy? Are you, like, invulnerable for a couple seconds? Yes, that was the special where you were invulnerable. <laughs> If only it didn't last five extension seconds. Extension Act. The copyright, copyright Term Extension Act. This looks cool. Extended copyright term yeah, I like the this States. boss because it's like all practical effects like on the stage. This is a really fun idea. I like that one because you can just stand underneath it the whole time. Oh crap, there's another one. Yeah, this is the last uh, one. So the it's generally easy with this because I can just go through that thing. So it's basically like just kind of a joke. So no, let's do that. <laughs> I was gonna say right on cue. Like, yeah, honestly, I mean, right it, on it's, cue. It's not. It's not too bad, but yeah. It, usually, if you have more than just one life going to that part, but that priest is honestly me. So, um, all right, one more try, okay. and then we'll be done. <laughs> Regardless, copyright originally. Um... <laughs> that didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> copyright what? Yeah. yeah. Post the Copyright Act of 1976, uh, copyright would last for the life of the author plus 50 years. So whenever Walt Disney died, plus 50 years. So or 75 soon. years oh. for a work of co corporate authorship, which I guess would just be like. I honestly don't know specifically what that would mean off the top of my head. Um, I think Walt Disney died in like the 70s. The 1998 Act, which was nicknamed the Mickey Mouse Protection Act, uh, extended these terms to life of the author plus 70 years, oh, rip. and for works of corporate authorship to 120 years after creation or 95 years after publication, whichever end is earlier. Um, so, yeah. Okay. They they just keep they just keep pushing Mickey Mouse out of the public domain. So like the next time it's gonna be up in like ten years or whatever, it's gonna be like, uh actually it's plus a hundred years. And then again, whenever. Uh it's actually plus a million years, sorry. Yeah, they just What's the best public domain thing? I mean there's a ton of books. Uh, happy like. birthday. <laughs> But the, there's a ton That's of true. books that are, like, actually really good that are just available on, uh, like the Project Gutenberg or like whatever. Like the Odyssey yeah. or whatever, just yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, public... I mean... Beowulf? Okay. That doesn't even okay. have an author. Okay, so public domain... Is Beowulf owned, owned you, by someone? When you say no, the... but, like, that's, that's like, <laughs> way old. We're yeah. talking, like, there are things from, like, books from, like, you know, the, the early 1900s that are, like... Is Great public Gatsby public ever. domain? Um, he died in the it's 20s. Pretty close. Yeah. If it isn't, it's pretty close. Good to know. For reasons. Uh, wait, so anything, like, made in, like, Beethoven, all Beethoven's music, music is public domain? <laughs> like, anything that's from the 1800s is public domain, I could just, like, play it right now. Damn, you could make a disc and sell it. <laughs> you ever hear this song? <laughs> da -na, na 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 na. It's actually Chris Redfield playing Moonlight Sonata. That's my version. In Resident Evil 1. Uh, the, the joke about Happy Birthday is that it is not in the public. Well, no, it is now. It, it finally, is now. It finally went in. Oh my like, god. A bit of, like, I forget, a couple years ago. It, it was like, it finally came down, and it was like, wow, that's funny. But it was that long. Alright, 3 HP. Parker. We can go ahead. We in there, boys. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm nervous. Parker. Oh, that was <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my god. Alright, that's it. Ha thanks for the part. We have three more bosses and then the final boss. Uh, so, whatever. We'll, we'll do that next time. Enjoy your lives and thanks for living with us on this planet Earth that we all live in. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thanks, you too. Man. That's, okay. that's much better than saying to Ben, how you doing? That's thanks for living, Ben.